I want to ask you about an epic story, right? What happened with the Pac and you in Chicago, the GD? He was trying to fight every damn body in the audience. What, what was the backstory to that? I think, well, Pac was mad because um, I think uh, a, a, a seven-year-old vice lord shot a, a eight-year-old gay to disciple or something. Wow. <laughs> and, you know, Pac was real. He was acting, you know, he was he was mad. He was totally mad over there. He was acting like it was his kid or something. Mm. He was really mad over that shit, you know. So I was sitting down. Uh, I just got off stage, and uh, he ran past me and tapped me on the shoulder and said, "Come on!" And I said, "You finna go perform?" He said, "I'm finna go fight." Whoa. I was like, you know, "What the fuck you talking about, nigga?" You know what I'm saying? So I pulled out my pistol, I pulled out my banger, and grabbed the chair I was sitting on and followed behind him. Like, nigga, what the fuck you talking about? You know what I'm saying? And so I followed him onto the stage. I got a chair and a, and a Glock. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm standing on stage with a chair, with a chair and a Glock, and I'm like, you know what? What the fuck going on? And and he get on stage and he like, fuck y'all, bitch ass niggas, and y'all motherfuckers better <laughs> seven year old vice lord shoot a six year old disciple. Y'all niggas is kill, killing the babies, bitch ass niggas, and all this crazy shit. And I'm like, I was about to be like Pac, you know, calm the fuck down, man. And you know these, these niggas will kill us over here, bro. You know what I'm saying? But but when he said what he said about the you know the seven year old vice lord killing the eight year old gangster disciple or however it went, I was like, okay, well he's kind of pissed off over that. That that hey, what the fuck, y'all niggas let that happen? Like how y'all let that happen? You know what I'm saying? You know, but the only niggas who can do shit like that is us, dude. Hell yeah. So y'all made it out of there. Y'all, y'all, wish y'all had to run. Did y'all had to? We had to. We had to pull up, pull out straps and shit, but we made it out of there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We had to pull out bangers, you know, to get up out of there and shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know, niggas, niggas, they, niggas uh, respect, respect. You know, they in the, eventually in the end they respected while we was mad. You can look at my recent album, Me Against the World, the title song, Me Against the World. We had lines that says like, um, can you picture my prophecy? Stress in the city, the cops on top of me. The project is full of bullets, though bodies is dropping. They ain't no stopping me. Constantly moving while making millions. Witnessing killings, leaving dead bodies in abandoned buildings. Can't reach the children cause they illin'. Addicted to killing and the appeal of the cat pillin'. Without feeling, but will they last so be blasted? Hard headed bastard. Maybe he'll listen in this casket. Now how does that glorify thug life or gangsterism? I don't see how that does it. I don't I understand agree. how that, that could be, you. how you can say, you know, we're the cause of all this violence. I think that what we need to do as a community is start um, taking control back of our communities. You know, I, I understand it's always going to be drug dealing. I understand it's always going to be violence, but we just need to regulate it so that we can at least have like a peaceful zone where we can all be cool, you know, mm -hmm. or else we're going to all die. We're going to all be destroyed.